Welcome back now to Primetime Sports Friday. Bowling off with cricket for the first time in 13 matches across formats, the Jamaica Scorpions were able to secure a win after a thumping 10-wicket victory over the combined campuses and the colleges team at Sabina Park on Friday. A long overdue win was finally achieved by the Jamaica Scorpions after a crushing 10-wicket victory over the combined campuses and colleges inside three days at Sabina Park on Friday. The Scorpions added 72 runs for their last six wickets to be dismissed for 331. Pete Salmon made 45 as 17-year-old leg spinner Zishan Matara bagged a career-best 7 for 108. A 24-run first innings deficit proved mountainous for the CCC and in no time they stumbled to 34 for 4. The experienced Shamar Brooks 12 and first inning centre maker Jonathan Carter a duck both back in the hut. Salmon then weaved his way to 4 for 12 to roll over the CCC for a mere 87 in 30.4 overs. Gordon Bryan supported with 3 for 19 and Abhijay Mansing 2 for 35. The Scorpions were then in need of 64 to get a first win in two years and a punishing display from Chadwick Walton led them there. The first inning Centurion slammed six fours and two sixes in an onslaught which lasted just under 40 minutes. Walton was supported by Carlos Brown who hit three fours to finish with 19. The emphatic win was confirmed with this six which was hammered in a disdainful manner by Walton. I think the way we go out there and, and, and play this week is the way that we want to play going forward. Um, I just want to commend Chadwick Walton for a big first innings knock and um, Young Carlos Brown as well, I think that partnership was crucial for us. And then, you know, Pete, I think Pete played very well, very well with the bat as well today and the overall bowling unit was, was excellent. Well, I thought that um, our boys, you know, we, we played well in patches. Um, we didn't, um, I think we're still young, it's a young group and we didn't command the, the sessions that we actually could have commanded. I thought that we, in the second innings, we batted very poorly. And, you know, we were in until at that time, you know, um, getting bowled out for, for around 80 odd is, is not good enough. While there was relief about the victory, Scorpions captain Jermaine Blackwood was full of praise for 17-year-old Matara. Young Matara, he likes spinning at 17 years old, you know, he, he did a fantastic job getting seven wickets in the first innings. And that really put us back in the game because it is a very good wicket for batting. And I thought that, you know, he bowled very well. Very good. Um, saw him bowl last week and... Um, you know, he was a bit inconsistent in that game against Barbados, but this game he was very consistent. You know, I, I spoke to him last night and um, it, his future looked very bright. Um, I think he bowled a nice length, good pace. Um, I think once he can continue, he's going to have a, a, a bright future in front of him. The Scorpions were handicapped on day three as fast bowler Marquino Mindley was unable to take the field due to injury. Well, I guess you have to talk to the physio about that, but... Um, He's not looking too good at the moment, but you have to do some work. Hopefully he can play next week, but we just have to see how it goes. The Jamaican franchise will take on the Barbados Pride in their next encounter, starting next Wednesday at Sabina Park. <laughs>